What is up guys, Toshio K here bringing you a quick manga slash comic haul. This is not everything, this is nowhere near everything that I've picked up, but I'm working on a big video showing you guys everything, but I thought, hey, might as well show you guys some of it because, you know, why not? Put some content on the channel. We have Golden Kamoi Volume 8. Really enjoying Golden Kamoi. One of my favorite series at the moment. Actually insane. Uh, the art's incredible. The story is... It's, it's good, it's decent, the plot at least. The characters though, the interactions and the chemistry between all the leads and all the, the new characters that we're getting, like, you know, old foes become allies and whatnot. Really good, I highly recommend that. Just, the only thing is these are a tad expensive. You see back there, retail for about $12.99 and sadly on Amazon, that's about how much they go for, is around $10. We have Mob Psycho Volume 100. You know, the Mob Psycho hype right now, especially because of the anime, but sadly, not sadly, um, if you know this artwork, it's very uh, hit or miss. I really like it. I think it's funny. And um, I don't know. I, I just, I'm more of a story kind of guy, and this artwork is enough for me, in my opinion. And I think it adds, it adds uh, authenticity in a way. It adds, um, I don't know, it feels genuine, and it feels, it. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's just... I see it more as a flair, you know? Um, it's just a, a very unique art style. It's very unique, and some people don't like it. But I highly recommend that. Uh, sadly, these are being released very slowly. I think the next one doesn't come out for another, like, four months. But I would recommend that. And we have uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know if I bought two or if they accidentally sent me two. I'm hopefully... Hopefully, they accidentally sent me two. I didn't even bother looking. This came out like a month ago or something like that. I, I read it already, obviously. I'm loving these full metal editions. Highly recommend checking them out. You can get each one. They're like hardcover and they're one and a half volumes. And they go for like fucking $13, $14. Highly recommend it. I'll give one, away, one of these away soon. But yeah, I didn't even bother checking if I bought two by accident. Because then I would just feel bad. I already bought them. So, fuck it. On to the comics. Um, yeah, I went to Walmart and bought this little pack because it had Guardians 1, and I wanted to read Guardians, and actually Guardians 1 is a little bit expensive online, but, uh, so it's the Walmart variant, I guess, but I think this retails for, well, I don't know what retails, but it goes for, like, maybe $8, so this whole pack, you get three comics, and they're not doing this anymore, by the way, I think they, they canceled doing this, but... This whole pack was $8, and I got, you know, Marvel's 1, Guardian's 1, I'm sorry. I got Champion's 1, which I heard stuff about, so I wanted to read it. I, you don't know, obviously you only know what you're getting on the on the front one. So I got Champion's 1, and I was pretty excited, and I read it, and it kind of sucked dick, so whatever. And then I got Amazing Spider-Man uh, 789, not reading that because, you know, I'm not caught up with the Amazing Spider-Man run. But it is like a, a variant, I think it says right there. Uh, variant edition. I think these go for like 10 bucks. So you, I got my hell of my money's worth because I wanted to read this anyway And I'm interested. I'm intrigued. So I'm gonna I'm buying more I, I think I have the next two coming in and that's that's it on comics I'm not gonna read champions I'm not reading amazing spider-man, but I'm actually digging this So I guess the plot is that Thanos just recently died and he's gonna be inhabiting someone's body And they're trying to figure out who Thanos is going to essentially go in take over control so it's pretty good, and then, you know, half of the of the Guardians are pretty much dead or gone. So we got new Guardians, and, you know, Cosmic Ghost Rider is one of them. Um, Sweet Tooth, these are the deluxe editions. I have the second one, and I have the third one. Obviously, I have the first one. Read it, it's upstairs. Fucking love Jeff Lemire. And um, I'm actually, I've already read Sweet Tooth, so I'm rereading it. I read it online, and now I own these because I got them for a really good deal. Highly, highly recommend Sweet Tooth. This is another... Uh, artist you know not manga artist but comic artist that has a very distinct uh, art style and a lot of the times he actually doesn't even do the art but when he does i prefer it because yeah people don't like it there's a lot of people that think it's like, bad but i think it really it's really stylistic and you either don't like the aesthetic or you do but i think it, it really adds a lot of um a lot of impact to a story because not only is he you know in charge of the actual writing but he actually draws it so Everything that he imagines in his head, he's able to completely, you know, one for one it. Because if you're working with a, 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 an artist, then maybe they might not be able to to uh, correctly depict your vision. But if since he's the artist and the writer on this, you know, he can. Really, really recommend Sweet Tooth. It's fucking brilliant. And then we have Gideon Falls. I heard a lot of really good things about this. I got it from Amazon. It's a little damaged. 
Um, sadly, I wish I would have been able to pick up the singles when they came out, you know, had the comic run, but I couldn't, so whatever. So it's volume one of the trade paperback. Actually really, really good. If you like a twisted um, mystery with a, a supernatural element into it, I highly recommend it. It's a slow burn, so it'll take you a while to read it. And yeah, just go ahead and check it out. It's really good, Gideon Falls. And yeah, um, I'm getting into comics a lot more, so expect that. But I'm still reading manga, but I'm just getting like the necessities. So thank you guys for watching. Toast your cat out. And uh, yeah, so maybe you'll see me like, because I do have a comic book shop, and I'm going to be buying from there. So maybe you'll see me make a video there. But yeah, you guys take care. Toast your cat out.